Welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, we've been searching the internet and there's no videos on doing maintenance on your Angi Yang power hammer. So we're gonna do one. Let's go guys. So we've dug out the oil. Um, this oil, let uh, me just, just turn it around, is um, SAE 30, uh, classic 30 motor oil. So apparently that's uh, the stuff that we need. We've dug out our grease gun and we've dug out our funnels. So we're gonna grease everything, oil everything, ready to be uh, forging, ready to be forging a little while. So Mini is gonna be the cameraman today. I'm gonna to be doing the maintenance. We'll get this done and then we'll publish it on the internet. Let's go. Okay, so what we have on the Ang Yang, um, to start off with up here, um, this is our oil level. And as you can see, um, it's very low. What the oil, when I first got it was, about halfway through on this top reservoir, it's now completely down the bottom. So we need to top up the oil and we do that from here. Um, what we also need to do is grease in here. So we'll take this off and grease inside of here. And then if you can look down, down there, mini dubs, down here is where we need to grease as well. So I'm probably gonna take this bit off to give it a good grease. And that's just three bolts. Um, and that's really all we need to do. So it's not a lot of maintenance, but enough that we need to, to get cracking. So uh, off we go, let's start getting this bit off. I think it's just three bolts. Grease it up first, all the greasy, dirty work first, then we'll top up oil and then we should be okay. So there's three bolts, there's a bolt at the top, bolt on, on, uh, on both sides. We're gonna undo these bolts, take them out and then lift this completely off. That means we can actually get to the stuff underneath and give it a good grease. Um, so it should be just a matter, I've never done anything like this before. There's one down here. And these ones, I think I can just slide. I'll do the other side. This is exactly the same on this side. I think it lifts straight up. No, that's the way that the bolt belt goes. Okay. So I believe we lift it straight up. It's gonna be heavy though. All right, keep going all the way up above the wheel. Yep. Oh, that's quite heavy, isn't it? This is the back of the power hammer. It's quite neat to see. You've got the, the drive pulley here and then it goes onto the motor down at the bottom and you can see there's grease everywhere. So we want to give it a good clean up um, and then we want to grease on the back of the wheel in here. Um, what I'll also do while we've got it off is we'll remove the grease uh, off of the back of the unit here, just clean that down too. Um, so let's get cleaning. Okay, so we've got some degreaser here. Um, I'm just going to give it a clean, just a bit of maintenance while we're here. Get rid of the grease. It's worthwhile looking after it when we uh, we bought this, which I'll do a link to the video below. Um, it wasn't cheap, so as with anything, you look after your tools and uh, they'll last you forever. So clean it off. This is just car degreaser, but I just wanted to get that grease off of there. And then I'm just gonna clean the top as well. Put a little bit more in there, a bit on here. Okay, next bit, let's look at the back of the power hammer and let's get the grease gun out, which is horrible. That's why we've got these on and we'll start cleaning that down. So last time when I greased, obviously it throws the grease out when it first starts, so it's all down here. I'm just gonna do a bit of degreasing on here. Try not to hit the belt and then I'll just clean it off. It looks, it won't hurt it or anything, but it stops it flying around. Okay, that looks better. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is put some grease, new grease into here behind the wheel that protects there. This is our grease gun. You pump the grease around. We're gonna put it around the wheel here. Make sure it's nice and greased. Yes. 
The next thing we've got to grease is down here. So we're going to get the uh, the bolts on here, uh, the socket wrench on here. We're going to get the socket wrench on here under these and grease inside of there. And there's a nipple inside of there that the grease can connect to. Then we we pump the grease into it, and that'll grease all the back of the unit. So uh, yeah, let me get the uh, yeah let me get the socket set on there. Let's undo this here. As you can see, this was uh, last service on 30th of the 5th, 19. Now, I have greased it between now and then, but I just want to do a, more of a, a major service on it. It's not that major, really, is it? But I just want to make sure it's all in good working order. And the idea is that Mini Dubs and I will do some forging in a bit on the power hammer. I'll put this on top so we know where it's all stored. Now, if you ever look in there, Mini Dubs, if I hold the light, you can see there's a little nipple in there. Can you see that? See that nipple just in the back there? That's where we've got to now connect the grease gun on and give it a pump and pump some grease into this side. So if you think about it, you've got grease on that side of the wheel and then you grease inside the machine. So um, yeah, I'll get the grease gun, connect it up, and we'll just pump some grease into there. Yeah. So on the end of the grease gun, you've got a connection here which connects directly onto the nipple inside of the, uh, the power hammer. So we're gonna just connect it onto the power hammer and then pump away the grease until it pumps out. Then, uh, then it's fully greased, so let's do that. I'm not sure that's the... Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's no grease coming out just behind that nipple, which means that's fully greased. We're going to put this plate back, put the back back onto the, uh, the power hammer, then get on with the oil. So let's put the plates back. Okay, so this is quite loose anyway, but we'll just get the socket set onto the oil connection. Undo this, and this uh, will slowly go down over time anyway, um, because this allows the flow of the wheel to go down onto the the ram and keep it lubricated for when it goes up and down. So the ram goes in and up and down here. We want to keep that lubricated with here. But as you can see, we're low in oil. We've got ourselves a little uh, tub. Now I've got to be careful and pour oil in. I don't know how much it takes, so we'll start off gently, and we'll see how we go. Okay, got to keep an eye on this down here. Um, I want to see that slowly go up. We want to get to about halfway on this red dot on the top. Um, I'm just going to go the other side. I don't know how much it takes, so we'll do it slowly to start with. Here we go, slowly going, it's not going to take that much. I'm going to come up to halfway to the top one. There's only a small reservoir, and it does drips at a time, so... Here we go. And that is pretty much perfect. So I'll just give it a degreaser on it. Give it a bit of a clean. Got to go over the top. That's it. So guys, there we go. Percy's all nice and clean. It's been uh, greased at the back here. We've put grease on the other side and we've put oil around the opposite side. I'll just show you those. So we've topped up the oil. The oil's nice and good. Um, we've greased at the back here and we've greased where it says grease. Um, I'll probably write on the side of the power hammer the date again so we know when it's been done. Uh, Mini Dubes, thank you Mini Dubes for your help. Gave it a bit of a clean as well, so it's lovely and clean. Um, we're now gonna get on and have a little bit of forging. So guys, I hope you found it useful. I certainly couldn't find a video on the internet that told you how to service your power hammer. It's basic grease and oil anyway, so it's not difficult. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. If I have, please give me some comments below. Hope you find this useful, and we'll see you next week on Doobers Day. Cheers then. Bye.